Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and I'm back with another ending. Alright, let's see what this one has for us, shall we? This is the one you get after beating Magus's castle. Josh? Oh, looks like it's repeating the, the beginning again. Wake up, Josh! It's time to rise and shine. Dreams are for sleepers, Sam. It, this is the beginning, but they're all reptites. Oh my goodness! Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. You were so excited about the Millennium Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Do they even have a cat? So I guess reptites rule the world in this ending. This alternate ending in the timeline. Cool. This ending's actually not that bad. It's like Dino Age is the, the name of it or something. Yep, this is certainly the uh, beginning of the game again. Oh, uh, pet the kitty. Nice kitty. Oh, I love cats. I'm very much a cat person. <laughs> oh, they even have the, uh, the inn. Visiting the inn. Everyone is reptites. Absolutely everyone. Like I said, they must have ruled the world. Since uh, in this ending, we haven't uh, helped Ayla defeat them yet. Oh, look at they got a human running in the race instead of a reptite. And a koala. <laughs> or is it a kill walla? Not a kiwala, a kill walla. I think. I'm not quite sure what the names of some of these enemies in this game are, to be honest. Oh, and look at they ran into each other. And the bell does toll. The bell doth toll. But I think that's pretty much it for this ending, actually, guys. This is just the credits now. Oh, we might get another segment. Let's find out. Ted Wolseley, the man himself. Oh, and there's a Zala. The end. Well, that should be it for this ending, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty. I'll be back with another ending for you next time.